Hello everybody, my name is Mother. I have six daughters. This is Robin, nine years old, my youngest. Very loud and annoying, just like all children, and likes animals. This is Rose, 11 years old. She is so fascinated with nature that I am sure one day she will marry a stone a plant a bug, or something similarly disgusting. Or that rabbit perhaps. Next one is Scarlet, 19 years old. Loves order and art, hates nature. This is Ginger, 13, the militant lesbian among my daughters. She always behaves like a boy and pretends to be the fastest thing moving around, which is bullshit because Robin and Ruby run faster than her. This is Carmen, 17 years, the right age for a slut like her. Whenever she is not busy with admiring her own mirror image, she loves to take care of the boys next door, regularly. And last but not least Ruby, our 15-year-old goth, obsessed with death, hates humans, art, nature, animals and herself. That figures, I hate her too. Oh, and don't mind that bitch in the bloody white dress. She will disappear soon. And now I can explain our daily routine. Every day I send one of my six bitches to my mother who lives in the forest. Her name is Grandmother and her hobby is resting in her bed. She doesn't really do anything else. I guess she is just lazy. So from Monday until Saturday, every girl visits her once. They never go in a specific order, although Scarlet hates me for that. The only rule is that they never go together, only one by one. And the girl who annoyed me the most during the week is the one who has to go on Sunday. Today is Monday, so, girls, who of you would like to visit Grandmother today? Not me. I have to play with the neighbor's kitten. Not me. I have to play with the neighbor. I can't. I am writing a threatening letter to my English teacher. Sorry mother, but my rabbit is sick. No time today. I need to make appointments with the doctor for my sisters. Forget it old woman, this piece of chalk is far more interesting than fossil woman. Okay, I see you're all busy. I'll come back and ask again later. Does everyone remember the plan? Yes, we go to grandmother's house together, for the first time in our lives. Are you really sure we should do this? Don't make a retreat now, or I will ravage in your clean and tidy bedroom. Oh no, I am coming. Great. We haven't even been here for 15 minutes yet we've already lost track of each other. So much for our plan. We will never even reach grandmother's house like this. It's a good thing we have mobiles, but none of this would have happened if you had stayed on the path with me, or if we had not even come here together. Quiet stern woman, or do I need to remind you of your clean and tidy bedroom? I will never understand why mother always wants us to visit grandmother alone. Doesn't she want us to spend time together? Or is she afraid of staying at home alone? Poor mother. If she was alone at home, she could invite her secret boyfriend, and they wouldn't have to do it in the forest anymore. But she always has at least one of us stay at home, so she will never be able to do that. Stupid, if you ask me. Well thank god no one asks you Carmen. Why do you think they do it in the forest? Because she always tells us to stay on the path. We are not allowed to enter the forest. There has to be a reason for that. The reason is that it's just too dangerous for little girls like you to run around in the gloomy forest. It's as simple as that. Oh yes, there might be wolves. That's what she usually says. I wouldn't mind being a wolf. I like wolves. Robin, are you close by the field of flowers? I think I've seen someone small around here. Do you think we could meet somewhere? That wasn't me, Rose. I don't even know where I am. 
Rose is right. We should start looking for each other. As I said, I am still on the path. Where are you? Under some big animal's ass perhaps. It's dark here. Very dark. I am jealous. I want to be in the dark too. No, thank god. I thought you were going to say you'd like to be under a big animal's ass too. There's a small lake here. Oh man. Why can't it be warmer? Then I could take my clothes off. No one wants to see that common. There's no one here anyway. But with any luck, I could go swimming and be watched by a handsome forester. Be careful. It might be the same one that fucks her mother in the forest. <laughs> Robin, don't use words like these, you're only 9 years old. You would have said the same thing if she was 10. Well, that F word isn't something a child should say, is it? Which F words, Carlet? You know which one. No we don't, please explain. I won't say that now. Come on Scarlet, you can't expect us to listen to you if you don't speak clearly. That's right, what was the word Scarlet? You know exactly what I was talking about. No, no we, we don't. don't. The word is fuck. <laughs> Did you hear that? Scarlet said fuck. Can you believe it? This must have been the first time in her life. Shut it sisters. It's not my fault. But you said fuck. No I didn't. Yes you did. Not you too Rose. We have to tell mother that our oldest sister uses bad words. Do that and I'll rip all your plush animals apart. What? You want to punish her for telling the truth? What happened to your morals, Scarlet? You stop right there before you use another bad word. You are so rude. How did Mother manage to spoil you that much? Well, we can't be that spoiled or else we wouldn't obey Mother when she tells us to visit Grandmother. Which leads us back to our original topic. Let's meet again and go to Grandmother's house. I hate being in the forest. There are too many ugly plants and annoying insects. But how shall we find the way if we don't even know where we are? I could talk to these beautiful flowers. Maybe they tell me where to go. I have a better idea. I'll find a wolf, get on his back and ride him to the path. <laughs> You're such a slut, Carmen. Honestly, Robin is so young and innocent. So could you please exclude her from your perverted mind? Probably she didn't even understand what was on Carmen's mind. Did she think I was going to fuck the wolf? <laughs> So much for Robin's innocence, Ginger and Scarlet. I am glad that this was what she thought. The thing that I had in mind was much worse. I will have to talk to Mother about your upbringing when we are back home. But first of all, let us finally think up something to get you back on the path. My offer to talk to the flower still stands. Forget it, Rose. Even if they could answer, they would only send you to the next asylum because you were talking to them. And believe me, an asylum is not such a beautiful place. I've been there often enough to know. Does anyone else have an idea? Of course. I'll just lie down and spread my legs. Sooner or later a nice resident of the forest will come by, and perhaps for a little service in return, he'll tell me the way. Do that. In the meantime I'll go straight to grandmother's house and call you again from there. She might know something of use. Scarlet hung up. Great. So we can talk about the funny perverted stuff again. No, please don't say bad words because I don't like that. Go and pick some flowers, Rose. This is a conversation among adults. Adults? You and your two younger sisters, 9 and 13 years old. So what, Ruby? Don't you want to go and pick flowers too? I do not pick flowers. I stomp on them and kill them until they die. Oh no. I have to protect these flowers from Ruby. Why, Ruby? Flowers with really long and thick stalks can be used as dildos. Oh no, I have to protect the flowers from Carmen even more. I'll just pick them all and give them to Grandmother as a present when we arrive at the house. If we ever get there. Rude little girls. When will they finally grow up? If Mother says she wants us to visit Grandmother alone, why do they even question that? And on top of it all, why did I agree to take part in this nonsense? Oh, I remember. It was Ginger. She threatened me with causing disorder in my room. That's why I agreed. But there has to be order. 
As soon as I take over the world, I will let order reign over it. Let's see where grandmother is. No, we don't see a penis in the right corner of this room. It's only your dirty imagination. There's a bit of Carmen in all of us, isn't it? Oh, the fridge is missing. Never mind. I don't like cold food anyway. The only thing that bothers me here is the ugly emptiness. It doesn't satisfy my desire for artificial beauty. So let's go up the stairs. This house is bigger on the inside, you know? And there are glassy jars standing around. They don't belong here, but at least they are arranged in a clear and orderly way. Oops, I thought I could walk right through them. Well, I'll tell grandmother it was Robin. Here we have the expanding library, but I am not keen on reading at the moment, so I just sway a bit, as if I was drunk, and walk towards the next door. Oh hi there, flying instruments. Let me fly a bit with you, and move on. There's something creepy about this corridor. I don't know what it is, but it feels strange. Maybe it's the heads of the dead deer on the wall that frighten me? Who knows, I have never admired grandmother for her great days anyway. Hello grandmother. If you had told me that you are asleep I wouldn't have had to hurry. Well never mind, it's good to see you. I'll sit here and take care of you. There's no need to help my sisters. I am sure they will find their own ways. They always do.